Uh, my name is Jeff Schaefnocker. Uh, my business is Three Bears Coffee Company. Uh, I'm a coffee roaster. I've been roasting about two and a half years now. Uh, and I focus on uh, specialty coffees uh, done in small batches. Three Bears Coffee is a Tennessee product serving the local Knoxville community, very specifically the downtown Knoxville community. Would you like a cup of coffee? A cup of light, please. You betcha. So I started drinking coffee when I was five years old. Uh, I've always enjoyed it quite a lot. Uh, and as I got older and came to understand uh, the greater world around me, uh, I decided that this was, um, this was a place that I could really make a difference and it was already something that I loved. Everybody drinks coffee. Uh, everybody takes for granted the fact that somebody grew that coffee somewhere. There you go. So by choosing to work with these specific producers, uh, even at the small level of business that I have, uh, I'm able to direct those resources to those growers who are doing a particularly good job. So the producers that I work with, uh, I've specifically chosen because of their uh, conscientious approach to growing uh, and community and the overall coffee economy. Um, those growers are, are all paid fair trade plus uh, rates uh, and then the cooperatives that I'm involved with uh, help serve their community by building medical facilities, schools. There's a variety of different uh, social aspects to the work that's done with the premiums that are paid. I research the different cooperatives and farms that I deal with. Um, most of the specialty growers uh, have websites or other information that's easily accessible. Uh, that in addition to any certifications, organic, fair trade certifications, I'm able to locate growers and producers that are doing conscientious things uh, at source. So then I purchase those coffees through a couple different importers uh, and then they're delivered to me in 150 pound bags um, on pallets. So the roasting process starts by loading the green coffee into the top of the roaster uh, and then it uh, is dropped into the roasting drum. At that point, uh, I'm watching for several things, uh, how much time has passed, the temperature of the beans, the overall air temperature in the drum. Uh, when all of those factors are uh, what they should be for the particular roast I'm trying to achieve, uh, the coffee's then uh, dropped out of the drum and into the cooling tray, where the temperature is brought back down uh, to nearly room temperature, uh, and then it's loaded up in, uh, into containers to get ready for packaging. The main focus of my business is to highlight the growers and the producers. Uh, there are a lot of people doing wonderful work uh, in a lot of different uh, growing regions. And so by directing resources to those folks, by buying their coffee, um, I'm starting out with a very high quality product uh, that's very uh, limited and gourmet in its scope. Then my job as a coffee roaster is to make sure that the coffee is roasted to uh, the suitable levels for each particular variety. One of the main things that um, leads to the different variety in coffee is uh, different variations uh, or species of the plant, uh, as well as different growing regions. Uh, the coffee I get from Rwanda is entirely different than the coffee that I get from uh, Bali, for example. Those are also um, roasted differently. Not only do they need to be roasted to different levels, but they also act differently in the roaster. So my job is to suit the, the particular bean uh, to the best ability. The reaction to Three Bears Coffee has really been great. Uh, the local community really appreciates the freshness uh, and the uniqueness of the coffees that I offer, uh, as well as what I'm doing for the producers. I love setting up at the Market Square Farmers Market. Uh, it's a wonderful and vibrant um, community of people. Uh, we see a lot of the same people week after week. People bring their families down and their dogs, and it's really a great place to, to be and, and serve the, the local community. I have a retailer in downtown called Just Ripe. They're on Union Avenue in the Daylight Building. Uh, I also have a couple other small retailers around the region in Sevierville and uh, Blount County area. I envision having a, a more public space uh, for my roastery uh, and a, a more public place to serve the, the local community. A more public location would help me um, 
in that I would be open more hours and people then could actually come and see the roasting process and see what uh, is involved um, in more of the coffee chain than they may be aware of now. Uh, I really appreciate that I'm able to keep my roasting operation small though uh, because I think that adds to the freshness of the product. Coffee is a really wonderful thing because there's so much variety uh, in the flavors that you can experience. Uh, to me, a really good cup of coffee uh, is full flavored uh, and highlights all of the unique characteristics of that particular coffee. The reaction has been very positive for Three Bears Coffee. Uh, it's certainly a premium product. Uh, that means it's not necessarily a bargain, but uh, the quality is, is just far superior to anything most people have ever tasted around here. With coffee, freshness is really of the utmost importance. Uh, the fresher the green beans, that is to say the closer to harvest uh, that I can get them, uh, the, is the best. Uh, and then after roasting, uh, Really, within 24 to 48 hours, the coffee is as good as it will ever be. Uh, it, it lasts for, you know, a couple weeks, uh, but by serving my local community, they can be assured to get the freshest coffee um, available to them.